Now to an update to some breaking news that we first told you about at nine. Officials are investigating a car wreck that left two people dead and two others injured. Now this all happening on Houston's north side along Waxahachie Street. That's where we find Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf tonight with some new information from investigators. Matthew. Well, Caroline, really, this is just tragic. Right now, police are still investigating. But just take a look at this. You can see just how fast that car could have been going as this power pole was ripped from the ground and just kind of launched to the side of the street. And that's where the car kept going, smashing into another vehicle, killing two people. Houston police investigating a deadly crash involving a possible drunk driver. What we do believe is that he has been drinking. We don't know where, we don't know how many, but we are following up on that at this point. The driver crashing into a power pole near Lathrop and Waxahachie, then running a stop sign, slamming into another car. A man and woman both killed from the crash. A 12-year-old in their back passenger seat rushed to a hospital. And the child was in the vehicle with the adult, so a very traumatic, sad case out here. Just heard tires screeching and then uh, heard loud noise like a like a vehicle hit something. Joe Seldone heard the crash and ran outside. I saw that the pole was down and then further down, I guess, is you know, what you see down, down there, down, down the street where apparently he hit somebody. We ask that the community pray for the family members of the deceased. Police now investigating a possible deadly DWI. Please drink responsibly and take the appropriate precautions so that this incident is not repeated and that we are not traumatizing our kids in the community as well as other family members who will have to pick up the pieces on this scene. And Caroline, that suspect is in the hospital tonight, but expected to be okay as we wait on possible charges. We're live on the east side, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.